over the last few years, I've been getting super into a football lately as a MLB The Show guy. That's pretty much all I've played in my content career. I've played some like, you know, FPS games, some shooters and all that, but that's not like anything that I put like a huge, huge effort into content wise. I started playing Madden this year. I created a Jaguars franchise I've been playing on stream and people have been really enjoying it. I've really been enjoying it, especially getting away from the monotonous baseball grind in November, you know, when the sport doesn't exist. I thought about making a franchise series on Madden for honestly years. I've always thought it would be fun, but I didn't know how to go about it. This year, I finally learned the mode a little bit and I want to just put it out there. I am a, I am very bad at the game. There are moments where I feel like I'm a freaking stud. And then there are other moments where I'm throwing nine picks in a game it's happened but today we're going on a new journey i'm bringing you guys actual edited videos of a franchise series and welcome to texans franchise so we already started as you can see here we got goose bronson in the top right they have like 10 faces that you can use and none of them look like me so that that sucks but goose bronson is going to be the coach of this team the houston texans now, I put up a poll on my main YouTube channel, Graceful Swan, if you guys like MLB The Show content, if you're just finding me for the first time. That's where I post all my main stuff over there. I put up a poll over there. I'm like, hey, if you guys wanted to see a Madden franchise series on a different channel, of course, you're watching it right now, what would it be? And I gave four choices. The Texans, who obviously won by a pretty large amount. So I had the Tennessee Titans, the Carolina Panthers, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And my, my thought process was, okay, I didn't want to do the typical, you know, franchise, you know, rebuild the Cardinals, right? Like everybody's rebuilding the Cardinals. They're, they're the freaking Cardinals. They're ass. So I went, I, I basically had two different directions in mind and two teams fit each one. So in the case of the Titans and the Bucks, it was a, a retooling was necessary. They had some really good players in certain spots, but they weren't getting it done and they needed some key new pieces. On the other end, we got the Texans and the Panthers who have some young assets that they just got that they really need to build around. And I think that really fits when we look at this Texans team. I mean, obviously, we had two of the top three picks in this last year's draft. CJ Stroud, who, by the way, this last weekend looked like a freaking beast on Sunday, throwing for what was it, five tutties or something like that. Crazy, just willed the Texans to a win. The other pick in that draft was Will Anderson Jr., our rush left and 82 overall. This guy is an absolute stud and will become a stud for us. We're going to build this defense around him. There's also some other talent on this team. We got Damian Pierce, 81 overall, running back. Only one year into the league. He's only 23 years old. Nico Collins has had some fun moments in the league this year. I'm actually, I don't know his age. He's 24. So he definitely has some room to grow. If we can figure out a way to get him star dev, we're in really good shape with him as one of our core receivers in this series. Hank Dell was just drafted this year. He's a rookie, 76 overall. He showed out as well as CJ Stroud in that one game. Tank Dell could have a really good future on this team. Robert Woods, I don't think he does. He's under a decent contract, but he's also 31 and already a 77 overall. He's just not going to be it. Ideally, we get rid of him, hopefully for something, but I'm guessing no one's going to give us anything good for him. Got Devin Singletary as our backup running back. He's not so great, but honestly, the depth on this team is not the greatest. Laramie Tunzel is the best player on this team. 95 overall left tackle. I don't know if he's part of the long-term future. The guy is already 29, and I mean, I understand he's an offensive lineman, so he can, you know, play into his mid-30s potentially. But I just don't know if he fits the timeline that we're under. And honestly, we could get some good value for this guy. I mean, this is a 95 overall left tackle. You don't see those very much in this game. The rest of the line, we got uh, we got T. Howard here. His name is Titus. I am not familiar with him, clearly. As I said, I am a casual. But uh, 75 overall at 27. I mean, at left guard, it's passable. But our center is heckin' terrible. Dieter, brother, uh, who who are you? You went to Wisconsin. Uh, uh, I don't really know where I was going with that, but he's a 61 overall. We need a center bad. Uh, I believe this is Shaq Mason, right guard, 30 years old, star development, 82 overall. I mean, we have some pieces on this O-line. Honestly, if we find a center, this O-line is is not, it, it definitely, it, it, it's not too bad. We could, we could definitely figure it out with that. Dalton Schultz, that tight end uh, scheme fit. Uh, he's already 27 years old. I think he sticks around for a little bit. I don't, I don't even remember what his contract situation is. Let's find that out real quick. He's only on a one-year deal. So 
we'll figure it out like i could see us bringing him back but we definitely want another tight end that is better than mr jordan right here looking at the rest of the defense though uh we got jalen petrie and uh jimmy ward out here i think i think it's jalen we're about to find out darn it we are about to that's laramie tunzel that is not that is not my petri dish it's a petri dish right that's what i had in uh that's what I used in chemistry back in high school. Yeah, Jalen Petrie. Wow, I'm so I'm so heckin' smart. I think at safety we're fine right now, uh, at least for this year. I was looking at Shaq Mason like he was a linebacker. I was very confused. We and we got Will Anderson. Otherwise, we're not in a good spot here. We have two decent corners, but no one insane. Everyone here has got like normal dev. Our linebacker core could use a lot of work. Uh Perryman's our right, I guess, but I don't know. How old is he? He might be a trade piece. He's already 30. This guy might be a trade piece this year at the deadline. If we're looking at his contract, only one year and he doesn't really want to be here like at all. I think uh, Perryman could be a good trade piece for us this year. Special teams wise, uh, Kami Fairbairn is going to be our kicker and uh, Johnson. He looks like an actor. I don't know his name because I don't watch shit, but he kind of looks like an like an actor I'm thinking of that I've seen his face and, and stuff because bald and short red beard but he's not fat like me. Overall though, this team is not good. It's gonna be a long process and we gotta hope that CJ Stroud turns into a stud. We're gonna get into training camp here. Target passing, we're taking CJ Stroud. I'm not gonna lie, I am very bad at this drill. I don't know how it's possible to be very bad at this drill, but I have found a way, God damn it. All right, we gotta go over here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm throwing. Oh my God, I'm throwing. You didn't see that CJ. I threw it a little early than I wanted to. I, it was a little earlier than I wanted to, but it's okay. We're going to come over here. And I missed the second one. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just very bad at hitting the bullseyes on these things. So I guess I do know what it is because I just said it, but I'm very bad at it. I, I, uh, it it's really bad. It's really bad. I mean, look at this shit. Okay, okay, that was something. We're up to bronze. I've never gotten gold in this drill. I don't know the secret. I don't know why I'm so bad at it, but I am. But it's just, it's all outer ring for me. I, I never hit the actual bullseye. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. That was a good one. Be proud of me. And I don't think we got it. Dude, okay, I have to get gold. I, I have to get gold with CJ Stroud. This guy is pivotal to our future. If we don't get gold with him, we are just bad people. That's something. And I missed the second one because I am ass. Go X. Go X. There we go. That's silver. That's silver. We have three passes. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We go B. We go B. We go B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, he didn't catch it. That actually is really bad. Okay, that's two. You got to catch it. We got gold, baby. That's the first time I've ever done it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Give me a dev trade upgrade. That would be sick for CJ Stroud. I mean, he's already hidden. Okay, we just got our skill point. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, pass skeleton out, man. Do we have a backup quarterback we care about? I don't really care about developing Davis Mills, to be real with you. So, we're just going to skip that. Rushing attack. We got Damian Pierce. This is the guy. This is the guy. I mean, Devin Singletary is only 25, so that's actually not too bad. But uh, Damian Pierce is our guy, and we really, really need someone to block here. Because when I do this in Jags franchise, my guy don't block, and it's really annoying. Okay, I, that was that one was me. That one was me. I hate this one though. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna restart. That's a bad. That's a bad rep. That's a bad rep, dude. I don't like the this this running play that they have me do though up the middle and all that it's like a draw i understand it in the game when we have like all the other blockers and shit what was that attempt at a block what what was that when he's on he really does run very well for the texans he looks really good in real life some weeks but then there's other weeks where he just doesn't get the job done i don't think we're getting gold here yeah, it's only up to silver right now there's about a zero percent chance of gold here we we're gonna have to try this again i think yeah, there is just no gold. I was uh, halfway. We got, we got to hope that we get some better routes here that actually allows this guy to block. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you guys back here when I get gold. It might take a minute. I'm convinced it's not possible to get gold on this drill anymore. It was at the beginning of the year, but not now. 
I'm convinced it's not possible. I'm actually convinced it's not possible to get gold in this trail. This is attempt number five. And it, it's just, I get so many of these play calls where this guy just doesn't block. He only, he only blocks on these draw plays and then the stretch plays. But everything else, like I get a lot of pitches, doesn't block. I, I just don't understand. Here we go. Look at this. He's just going to run in the end zone. It's all on me. The thing is, my stick skills are getting better and better. And I mean, you just saw that right there. I'm fucking nasty. These plays are annoying because it, it, it's, it's hard to work with those. This one. Okay. He blocks on that one too. A little inside zone. He actually blocks. I'll, I'll allow that. I'll call I'll, I'll call that for what it is. Inside zone. He blocks. And, and I love that because that, that play is easy for me. He gets the job done on that, but nothing else for some reason. Okay. Also, Damian Pierce, for some reason, gets like a little a speed boost or something whenever like he gets bumped a little bit, but he breaks the tackle and I love it because it makes me feel electric. You know what I mean? This one might be possible. I don't know. Two more runs. It is possible if I get touchdowns on both of these. That's a good block. That's a good block. Oh my God. We're coming down to it. If we get a touchdown on this play, we win. Yes! Thank you. It was like attempt number six. I don't know. There we go. Gold with Damian Pierce. Bump him up, superstar. Okay. No, no dev trait. No dev trait. All right, we got a wide receiver battle. I feel like this, we really got to focus on Tank Dell here. Or even Nico Collins. What is Nico, Nico Collins is 6'4, Tank is 5'10. We're going to go Tank Dell in this one. Nico Collins is going to be our red zone attack. Because Nico's only 24, but he's also tall. So I feel like he could be really good for our red zone attack here. Let's just, you know, get Tank Dell here. Maybe we get a dev trade upgrade, even though he's hidden already. I'm pretty sure he's going to end up being star. Did I get the 400 there? I did not get the 400. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at the skills there. Look at the scales. Look at the scales. Well, that's a good release. We're going deep here. CJ Stroud showing off the arm. We get to it. Uh, I probably threw it a little too early to get that 500. Oh, we got him again. I threw it a little too early again. I don't know. also don't know why he possession catch there because I definitely called for a catch and run. There we go. That should be a 400. Oh, I mean, we're, we're, this is easy gold. This is such an easy gold. Look at that. We're, we already got it. We just got, still got another throw. Tank Dell is that dude. We're going for it. We're going for it. I don't even care. Look at that. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. We, he wasn't even near me. We burned him. Tank Dell with the gold. All right. Red zone attack here. We're going Nico Collins. Normal dev. We would love to see him get upgraded to a Scott star, but he's six four. I mean, he's the perfect guy for the red zone attack here. He's a go up and get it type of guy. I mean, look at this. We cut inside, go back out, hit the 400 and we got it. We actually got the two and the 400. We're going to cut in, go out. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's just automatic, man. Oh, that's a good release. That's a great release, actually. Wait, that didn't count. Hello, dude. Give me the ball. Oh my God. He threw it so much later than I wanted. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're gonna have to start over again. I I don't know. I, I got to figure out the strategy for this one. I don't do this one a lot in, in training camp and Jack's franchise. We just did wide receiver battle. Oh, what a catch out of Nico Collins. Wow. I mean, that was, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I'll, I'll admit it. Okay. I need to figure this out. Ooh, where are you going? And I couldn't catch it. Oh my God. I'm ass. Can we snap the ball. I'm there. Yes. No. We have a chance. We need this one. Why are we taking the inside route, bro? Awesome. Yes. Gold for Nico Collins. I am struggling with these drills right now. I'm not going to lie to you. This is bad. All right. No dev trade upgrade. 
But we are getting skill points for all these guys. So you love to see that. Trench battle long haul. All right. So, I mean, we feel, I have, feel like we have to do Will Anderson Jr. here. A rookie 21 year old, 82 overall left end. This is the guy for the trench battle. He will be a focus player for us. There's a multiplier. There's a multiplier. Get off me. Thank you. Miss the multiplier. I want it. There we go. And we're going to get CJ Stroud, a fellow rookie. I love how we just throw our starting quarterback in for these drills. Like, wow, we really want to kill CJ Stroud, huh? How did I not get that multiplier? Hello? That's a good rip. Get off him. Thank you. Oh, no. They're trying to catch up to me. Ooh, that was a good rip as well. Oh, my God. I'm in shambles. Oh, my God. I'm in shambles. I'm in shambles. We got him anyway. Did not get all the multipliers. That, that, was, that one got a little crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. That, that one got weird. Oh, good swim move. Oh, good swim move. Uh oh, got tripped. Let's not do that, please. Thank you. Get off him. Get off him. Thank you. That's a rip through, but I didn't get the multiplier, but it's okay. We have time. We have time. Just disengage. Go for the quarterback. We got gold with Will Anderson Jr. Nice and easy. All right, for chase and tackle, I mean, Perryman's already 30 years old. I mean, there's no one really good for this at all that I would ideally want to use. We're just going to use our rookie Henry Taoto here. Uh, only a 68 overall normal dev, but maybe we eventually get him up star dev potentially. We, we get a dev trade upgrade on him and uh, this becomes worth actually developing him. But our linebacker core is not in a very good shape right now. I don't want to talk about that tackle attempt, but honestly, we're restarting. It never happened. It never happened. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Trying to tackle Damian Pierce is going to be really annoying. This is going to be really annoying. And we, we can't. I mean, this is just off to an awful start. I, I mean, the move is. I know the move is uh like cut sticking him. But I miss those a lot. So this, this drill always scares me a little bit. You know what I mean? Tripped him up. He went down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I prefer these outside ones. These are these are easier. It's when, when we got the blockers and he doesn't go through the hole that he's supposed to that pause that uh, makes this hard. Pause, it, pause again, I guess. I don't know. Like here, he's going to cut back. No, he didn't. That was perfect. Actually, we're off to a great start here. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. I had to say something. I have to focus. I have to focus. Don't talk to me. I hate everything. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to have to do this fucking drill again, bro. I have to do it again. What did I just see? What did I just see? Nah, 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 nah. I'll bring you guys back when I get gold. This is fucked. I thought we struggled that whole time. And now with 34 seconds left, we already got gold. Like... <laughs> just that one run there's de definitely been some weird stuff happening on this one but we're gonna get it to Odo. -O. maybe he gets star dev that'd be sick all right last play of this thing and we are gonna get to over 60k like double what we needed i don't know what made that run so much different than the rest of them but i mean screw it we got it no dev trade upgrade very unlucky i will say in jags franchise the first franchise that i did do uh, I did get a dev trade upgrade on Calvin Ridley during this. He started out a star, ends up being superstar, and he's actually been incredible for us. All right, right here. Uh, I feel like the move has to be going with uh, Derek Stingley Jr. here. Our six-foot corner, second year, 22 years old, star development already. But uh, I feel like he's the best option here, DB battle. Probably have to go to a safety with the red zone defense one. I I hate doing the one where you can't see the route. I probably never get gold on that, but we're gonna have to try. I'm bad at this one as it is. Like I just I I suck at these. I don't know what it is, but I'm terrible. I guess in practice makes perfect, but I'm very bad. How do I, bro? I'm straight up committing pi on you, and you're still catching these. You're Robert Woods. You ain't that guy, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Can we go outside? I'm there. That's my... Have some hands, bro! Nelson! I'm there. 
there we go there we go that's gold that's gold hey, i'm the best you know what i mean i've, I've been saying it the whole time y'all gotta believe me i'm the best that there ever was broken up yep there we go gold for nelson i already forgot his first name it start i, I want to say it's singlet but it's not singlet that is what wrestlers wear also uh skill point no dev trade upgrade all right last but not least we got db battle red zone defense right here i'm i'm feeling we we try to develop jalen petrie a little bit i mean star free safety for us he's gonna be sticking around for a while i think if we can get him to superstar dev that'd be heckin incredible i don't know what i'm gonna do on this though because i don't know the routes and i'm just gonna get cooked the whole time i'm I, i'm actually gonna get cooked this whole time i'm i'm gonna get cooked this whole time we're we're just gonna we're gonna restart this we're, i i probably won't make you guys watch this i'll let you know how long this takes me though i got gold oh my god 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 i got gold it's over i don't even have to do anything here oh my god he caught that okay i don't even care we're through training camp with all golds can you give me a dev trade upgrade no but it's okay all right so we got some upgrades here i'm going to sim through the preseason because i just i don't want to play the backups or anything we're going to start game one regular season but we are simming week to week in the preseason just in case we get like a you know a storyline a dev trade upgrade potential or anything like that but we have a lot of upgrades from training camp bill anderson jr it in development already has 342 snaps after training camp I mean, th this guy, this guy, he's got 80 finesse moves. What are his power moves? 74 power moves. But I mean, honestly, finesse moves, I feel like are better in this game. I, we're just going to stick with our speed rusher. It's also a scheme fit with Will Anderson. Upgrade him to an 83. It's plus two pursuit in that. That is interesting. I also said pursuit. Very weird. I'm aware of that. All right, Damian Pierce. Uh, already a lot of halfback we definitely want to work on the elusive back side of this I'm a little worried about him as a as a receiving back actually which is I don't know well we're gonna stick with elusive back here but we, we, we we're not gonna make him absurdly well-rounded but if we can just get his elusive up a little bit that would help out even the power side of things Nico Collins getting an upgrade here I mean he's a big guy bro he's a big guy we have Tank Dell which I think is more of a playmaker type or a slot type there's deep threat here, and uh, I think that's what we're going to focus on with Nico Collins. Just make him a, a stud in the deep threat area. Plus two release is huge for that. Then we got Jalen Petrie here. I mean, zone is obviously, he's a, he's a safety. I think that's what we're going to really focus on here. What is his man? What, what is his man coverage? Am, am I blind? Uh, 74. I, I am blind, actually. But yeah, I mean, he's a pretty well-rounded guy. We'll stick with zone here. Just get that upgraded potentially move him up soon to an 80 overall and uh that should help out a lot we got Derek Stingley Jr as our corner guy we're gonna stick to slot from what I've learned from Mr Bangle uh I'm sure all you guys watch his stuff and uh Dimu as well um but uh the slot is apparently the upgrade here because instead of man you can get some extra stuff as well as your man coverage we got zone coverage in this situation which is super interesting but Derek Stingley up to a 79 overall cj stroud now this one we really got to make the right decision here 89 throw power i mean he, he doesn't have a cannon of an arm his accuracy re, accuracy accuracy uh wussy badusy accuracy uh is actually pretty good i mean what's really holding him down here that's what i'm trying to figure out awareness i mean everything's just solid nothing's like insane necessarily what does improviser do here throw on the run uh we can do strong arm field general is just accuracy i think i'm gonna work on improviser here we're gonna upgrade him to imp improviser he's a 78 overall we get plus three throw on the run which is actually super nice tank dell we also really want to get this one right i think playmaker is really what fits him so that's what we're gonna do with him you got a lot here plus two awareness plus two catch and traffic plus two medium route you also got plus one and break tackle juke move and spin move true playmaker right there some might say henry to odo and i don't really know what's going on with this guy we're just gonna we're just gonna upgrade field general on him right now up to a 69 overall very nice but 
honestly i don't think we develop him necessarily unless he we can get him up to star dev somehow uh neville hewitt i really don't know who you are uh, you're 30 years old i really don't care about you to be honest with you i I'm, I'm sorry i know that's i know that's not very nice but i just i don't see a future on this team with neville hewitt and for the rest of this brevin jordan i mean i don't even know who you are honestly you're a 23 year old tight end though it's 68 overall could be decent not much of a blocker we're we'll upgrade his vertical threat here and uh I mean, plus four medium route is huge. So quite the upgrade. Davis Mills. Yeah, I'm kind of done with you, bud. We're just gonna we're just gonna kind of let the CPU take care of that. And I will see you guys at week one. And this is why we go week by week in the preseason. Wide receiver mentorship. A wide a veteran wide receiver wants to help improve the team. I'm hoping. Oh, this is for Nico Collins. Okay, Robert Woods. I was kind of hoping it was for Tank Dell, but. Nico Collins with the potential maybe to go up to star dev here. We're going to see. What does he have to do? I really don't know. But we got an uh, upgrade here as well, and it's going to go to our punter. We'll, we'll just kind of skip through these. And in the last week of the preseason, we get Jalen Petrie up to an 80 overall with plus four play rec and plus two zone coverage. That's a, that's a nice start. Getting Jalen Petrie up to an 80 overall before the season even starts. That is, that is a good sign. This is the last week of the preseason. We are about to go play the ravens in week one what a first matchup to go through we're gonna set our season goal here shoot for the stars or be conservative we're not a good team and i am not a good player we're playing this on all madden as well which is we're gonna have some really really bad games so i'm, I'm warning you you're in for it by watching this series we're going for four wins i i just i don't see any chance where we get seven i just i, I don't see it opening day keys we got to speak to the media about what's going on with this team we also got a rookie qb1 thing going on it's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the ravens what is the key to the victory i mean i feel like the offense is the best way to go but the problem is the ravens defense is incredible i don't think we stop them though i don't think stifling defense can be our key we're gonna go with the offense here ideally we establish our rhythm on offense dictate the flow of the game and get a big enough lead to make their offense one dimensional i mean ideally that is true uh, does that happen i highly doubt it obviously every uh, offense wants to be balanced what's your main focus i'm, I'm gonna say the running game uh, we don't want to put too much pressure on cj stroud and i think damian pierce uh actually has a lot of good stuff to him we want to pound the rock a solid run game is going to limit the opponent's possession and the longer we're on offense the less time we have to be on defense that is true and that is the goal for us today beat the ravens rush 150 plus yards we'll see about that all right so choosing draft class we're gonna do auto generated rookies i i i don't know i want to get i want to really learn how to scout and all that stuff and when you actually know everything about every you know every person coming out of college or whatever which i don't but uh, you hear things right like i know who michael Penix is you know what i'm saying or Penix or whatever the fuck you want to say it either way um so i i got a little basic rundown during jags franchise but i really don't know what i'm doing here so feel free to type in the comments give me uh some help with the scouting stuff but uh looking at the prospects here that really isn't what I was looking for. Uh, looking at the region breakdown. This is what I was looking for. We need a lot of help on this team as it is. We're good on quarterback. The strengths are wide receiver, corner, and left outside linebacker. I think we want to find a national scout who is good with wide receiver and corner. So that's what's going to be our focus. Quarterback tight end we don't need. We're going to fire this guy. We're going to find a three-star that is a corner, corner and wide receiver guy. There we go. How do I do this? I want to I want to hire somebody there we go free agent scouts we want corner wide receiver cornerback middle linebacker that's not what we're looking for wide receiver tight end that's not what we're looking for corner wide receiver Alessia I think that's how you say it I don't know we're hiring you you're you're working for the Houston Texans now all right uh D tackle inside line or inside O line I actually don't hate that because we could use center uh quarterback safety we don't need this we have anybody looking at okay we do have linebackers we do have linebacker help let's get a corner and middle linebacker this i like no wait we need a we need a one star person uh d tackle inside uh offensive line we don't really need offensive tackles let's just go with another wide receiver corner we'll just make sure we know about everything about these wide receivers and corners you know what i'm saying uh oh i think we have to 
assign them to. You're no. You're our national person. You're national. Then we go to the region breakdown. In the West, uh, we got wide receiver and the tackles. Okay. Corner in the central. Corner in the northeast. Corner in the southeast. But our linebacker person in the northeast. Who's our linebacker? This guy. You're in the northeast now. Congrats. You made it. In the southeast, we want left end corner left tackle. We're going to put Edmund Diaz there. I know he doesn't really work with anything there but it's fine because now we got left outside linebacker corner free safety and we're gonna get our other corner person there in the did i fuck up i might have fucked up we need someone for the west wide receiver left tackle right tackle and who do i have left all right we have our scouts set we should be good to go i think god i hope so Otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, we already know this. All right, rookie QB1, set expectations for your rookie quarterback's first start. CJ Stroud is making his debut this week, and we've seen in the past that it can be tough for rookies early on. What are you expecting this week? Great performance, show flashes. We just need show flashes, man. We just want him to be himself. There's definitely an expectation for him to make plays, but there's no need to put the world on his back already. We're not that good of a team. We're, we're about developing this kid. Beat the Ravens, get two plus passing touchdowns. So not only do we need 150 rushing yards, we need two passing touchdowns. That's going to be tough. I don't know. I don't, the Ravens defense is insane. I, I'm not feeling good about that. All right, so now we go into the weekly strategy for our game against the Ravens. This isn't going to go well. I, don't think. I, I do not expect to win this game. We have a healthy J.K. Dobbins playing for them. It's saying defend the outside run. I don't like that at all. Lamar, much better in the medium and short pass. I maintain the scrambles interesting. But then we don't have a good pass rush, and I feel like that would be an issue. Not that we'll get to the quarterback anyway. I think we're just going to do defend the short pass here. Um, That tends to be what I'm best at, at least, or what I perform best with, I should say. And on offense, Marlon Humphrey is uh, the star player there. We got Roquan Smith up the middle. I think we're going to really focus. We're going to go throw it deep here, but we're going to focus on the run. There's also blitz counter, which is interesting, but I, they don't really have blitzing like that. We're going to go and throw it deep here because it doesn't affect the running game at all. If we go outside run, then we can't inside run. If we go inside run, we can't outside run. And I honestly don't really know what playbook I'm running. So <laughs> um, that, that's also a factor in this. All right, we got our focus players. Honestly, I, I don't see a reason why we should have anyone else as focus players right now. Weekly game plan goal, two pass touchdowns. We kind of got to do that with Stroud anyway, so we'll leave it as that. We should look at other other, other goals, though, like uh, a lot 30 points or less because I'm ass. Uh, 200 offensive yards because I'm ass. And then uh, I tend to go with the 15 first downs. Can you guess why? Fine, you can do it. Because I'm ass. Thank you. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We got to do our mini games. We gotta do our mini games trench battle let's get it. all right this is not the long one at least here's will anderson jr get get my uh oh man the swim move going crazy right now got my multipliers his swim move is nice man oh do it again oh oh i'm gonna run a circle around him disrespect him I, actually the circle was crazy i'm not gonna lie that 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 running the circle around him was kind of crazy that's on me i can't disrespect my own teammates do a little rip get by him oh my god ankles where are you going gold easy now imagine a dev trade upgrade i'm just saying i'm just saying nothing all good all good we got cj stroud here i am awful with target passing i kind of want to go with pass skeleton in fact you know what i'm gonna go with pass skeleton let's see it we'll see how i do i, I haven't read the field in a few days anyway so this may not be a bad idea for me we're just gonna hit nico collins right quick just hit him quick get that multiplier up uh, Robert Woods could be interesting. Nah, we're just gonna hit the man up the middle. Why did he stop running his route? I don't understand. You gotta keep running the route, bud. Oh, that's a bad pass. That's a really bad pass. What was I thinking? I don't know. I mean, anytime I'm running a dig route, we just need to focus on that because that seems to be what's working. I don't think we get it this try, but we'll we'll get it on the next one. Dude, Tank Dell is get, catching all the passes for me right now. Oh, that's a beautiful play. I'm nasty. We're going to restart it, though, so we can get gold. I'm getting gold. Thank you. And now I've got my practice on reading the field, and we're doing good. Okay. Okay. 
May if I play well, maybe we have a chance against the Ravens. I don't expect it. That was an awful pass, CJ. What are we doing, bud? Ooh, ooh, that was tricky. That was tricky. Gold for CJ Stroud. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Dev trade upgrade? No. Okay. And then we got Tank Dell. I mean, this is just super easy. We're going to do wide receiver battle. I mean, we want him to be the playmaker type role anyway. So we, we need to get him good with his release, good with his routes. Honestly, he might end up being a slot guy at some point. I say that as he drops that pass. We got the, the inside of that route. And I, I don't like doing that when I'm going for the 400s, but we made it work last time. But that, I mean, that right there is the easiest route in the game. Take the outside, move him in, cut out. Oh my God. Wow. I'm just so talented. I'm just so talented. Let me know down in the comments. Tell me I'm talented. Thank you. Oh, oh, I just ran right around him. What's up, bro? You can't keep up. You can't keep up with Tank Dell, baby. Easy goal. That was easy. That was a one attempt first try. All right. But now that that's done, that just means that there's one thing to do. Sim through training. Hope for no injuries and face the Baltimore Ravens. Here we go. Going down on the defense. Pause. Holy shit. But uh, no injuries there. On the offense, we have an ACL sprain for T. Howard, our starting left guard. That is really unfortunate, actually. Hopefully, that's not too long of an injury. Uh, we do have some upgrades to do here. One of them being, oh, wow. All three of our focus players get a skill point here. Will Anderson Jr., we're going straight to speed rusher again. We really want him to be an elite rush talent. We got plus two finesse moves and plus two power moves. Absolutely fantastic upgrade right there. And within one game here, he should get his uh, development trait uh, shown. He doesn't have that much more to go. We're going to do uh, Improviser here again for CJ Stroud. Already up to a 79 overall. We got short accuracy, throw in the run, and throw under pressure. I have a feeling we're going to be under a lot of pressure this game against the Ravens. And Tank Dell, I'm going to I'm gonna go with Playmaker here. That is the scheme fit. That is ideally what will help us the most in this moment in time. Plus two medium routes, very nice. I love that. And then uh, Graylin Arnold, I really am not familiar with who you are, good sir. Three-year veteran, he's already 66 overall. It doesn't really matter, I guess. We're, we'll go with zone here. Just give him his, his best upgrade possible. I mean, I, I don't think he touches the field. If he does... I mean, I mean, good for him. I already forgot his name. All right, going down to the injury report. We got to check out on our left guard, Mr. T. Howard. Only out for this week. We do have some injuries here, though. Center, we got a free safety here. That is going to be out the entire year, if not two, actually. A foot fracture for this left tackle. We have another left guard that's there. Wait, Stingley's hurt? I did training camp with Stingley. When did he get hurt? Well, he's out another three weeks, apparently. I'm not putting him on IR because it doesn't take people off IR in this game. I hate it. I had an issue with Jack's franchise. Cam Robinson was on IR. I didn't get back till week nine, even though he was good. Like, uh, they, they don't have the new IR in the game. It's stupid. Here we go. Going into week one in Baltimore. This is not going to be fun, especially because our offensive line is weak today. But here we go. Roquan Smith, Lamar Jackson, OBJ, even on the team. This should be interesting. And here we are in Baltimore. We are kicking here in the first half. We will receive the ball in the second half. Kami Fairbairn kicks it and the season begins. Year one, week one underway. Here comes Lamar Jackson and the Ravens offense. I'm, I'm a little scared of Lamar. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I don't do well with mobile quarterbacks and Lamar is just that. I, and but the thing about Lamar is he's so good that even if we put pressure on him it's not going to matter like we I I did, had success against Anthony Richardson in Jags franchise because I was able to put pressure on him and he would just throw it away uh, Lamar Lamar's too good for that but that is a great start is that Will Anderson no it is not it is Greenward Greenard I don't know it worked out though a tackle for a loss to start in the season we're going to get on Cashman here, cover the running back, Gus Edwards. Are they running just all option? That is not what we're looking for. We cannot tackle Gus Edwards, and that is going to be a first down. 16-yard run. All right, we're blitzing here. I don't even care. We are doing the blitz thing. 
I read it, and he's going down. Another tackle for loss. We just got to be able to hold out for the rest of it. Dude, Lamar is so scary to me. I'm, I'm actually terrified. And that is going to be a quick tackle. Only gets five. Third and eight. Dude, Derek Stingley is going to hurt us today, man. Miss, we're going to miss him today. All right, they're running gun empty right now. We are going to stay in cover three. Hard flat. Over the flat. And we just got to be aware of Lamar. Because in empty, he gets space. It's a screen. Mark Andrews goes down fourth and 11, and we are forcing the Ravens to punt. Lamar Jackson is three for three for negative one yards. That is just unlike him. The Texans get a stop. All right, our punt returner, Tank Dell. Oh my God. Oh, dude, if we, if we establish that outside, there's a chance we take that back. But here comes our Texans offense, CJ Stroud, making his NFL debut. 79 overall with ideal decision-making. He is not absurdly fast, but he is fast enough to get the job done. And I understand we're making our quarterback debut here, but we said we're going to run the damn football today, and that's what we're going to do. Pierce establishes the outside, cuts back in, and gets four. Now oh, we're going to come out on a pass. Dalton Schultz is apparently the primary target. We'll see about that. Roquan Smith is right there. And it's over the middle and it's picked immediately. I am awful and you just saw it. And oh, not only that, it's a pick six. Welcome back, me. Welcome back to Madden, Swan. Here we go. Superstar tick kicker and Justin Tucker. We're, dude, we get a stop and we're already down seven, nothing. CJ Stroud's first pass as a pro, unlike real life. In real life, he didn't throw an interception for like a record amount of passes. But no, in this first pass as a pro comes as a pick. Of course he makes that play. I thought I had a good read there, man. He got back out in the coverage. We had a good draft, man. CJ Stroud, Will Anderson Jr., Tank Dell. Lots of good stuff there. Coming out in the second and 10 run. Is this a good idea? Probably not. Oh, but we find a hole and can't get past the tackle. We do make it third and three, though. Damian Pierce off to a good start for the day. Let's hope we can figure out something here. Singletary in the backfield. Over the middle, it is Robert Woods. And we get a first down. There you go, CJ. One bad pass, but now we're, you know, we're getting something. We're getting something here. We throw a Marlon Hump free to Tank Dell. We get three. We got to be careful about Marlon Humphrey. That guy will undercut a route and just, it'll, it'll be so many pick sixes coming from that guy. We definitely don't want to see that. I kind of want to run left. We're going to run left. I think I'll get a little more space here. We we did not. Someone did not pick up a block. Jordan coming out on screen. I have a feeling this isn't going to go the greatest, but we're doing it. Okay, we pick up our blocks. Cut back inside. Singletary gets the first down with the extra effort. Look at the power out of this man. All right. I feel like this is a good time to come out and play action. We can always hit Nico Collins as the check down. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's a really bad pass. Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it. Marlon Humphrey. Oh, my. I am scared of this defense. I am playing scared for good reason. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, actually. No, they got to us. Oh, Dalton Schultz was wide open, man. We're going to have to punt. Can we make it a good punt here? Not really. Get him down. Thank you. We can actually tackle. It's a miracle. That was an awful punt. Whole house tied. Dude, I hate this formation. It, it terrifies me. I actually am scared. Oh, we got movement. It's got to be some type of power run. Fill the holes. And we knock Gus Edwards down. Losing three on the first play of the drive again. We keep doing this, man. I love this. We're going to come out and man. See what happens. Dude, the Ravens offense, they just, they run so many different formations than I'm used to. And we get him down again, third and 12. Our defense came to play today, it looks like. We're going to come out and cover four. I'm going to audible to cover three, actually. I don't like cover four in this situation. 
And Lamar gets sacked. It is the rookie, Will Anderson Jr. I was really focused on playing my coverage there, so I really didn't like watch Will Anderson right there. But what a play. Gets a sack already in his first quarter as a pro. A lot of punting so far this game. And a pick six. Oh, no. Wait, we got the outside here. Cut inside. Tank Dell with a great punt return there. We're on the 47. All right, Devin Singletary in the game right now. I don't know why we're not seeing Damian Pierce in this situation. Ooh, I like this. Couldn't make a man miss, but we do get five. Damian Pierce probably makes a man miss there. I'm just putting that out there. I want to run inside zone again with Pierce this time. Run away from Roquan. Get the outside. Make a man miss. Break a tackle. Third and two. Cut back. Oh, my. What was that speed boost? Devin Singletary just became the flash. Nah, that, that was weird. That was weird. I'm not going to lie. All right, we're coming out and a uh, little option here. And CJ Stroud keeps it on his own and gets the first down and more. CJ Stroud with a 13-yard rush. Nice little option read right there. We're going to come out in a pass. Running the ball's been working, but... I feel like they're kind of sitting on it. You know what I mean? We hit Dalton Schultz with wide open space. Dives. Touchdown, Texans. Dalton Schultz with the extra effort. And we got one of our pass touchdowns for the game. Great read from CJ Stroud right there. And we should tie this up here. And we do. Wow. That was incredible. I feel so good about myself. Thank you for loving me. All right. Duvernay underneath. It should kneel it down. And he does. We got one minute, 11 seconds left in the first quarter. How many ones? Four to be exact. Thank you. And it's an option play. Lamar. Oh, he's got space. No one's catching up to Lamar Jackson. I mean, what do you do? It's Lamar fucking Jack. In 11 seconds, one play. They're up by a touchdown again. It's the big plays for the Ravens, man. I guess this is what we said in the presser, though. We need to dominate the football. We need to dominate time of possession. And and we're going to, mostly because they, they've had the ball for like a minute at most. And I've had it for the rest of the game. All right, we're taking it out here. Oh, we almost found a hole. Yo, I, I feel like Tank Dell is going to break one out here at some point. All right, coming out in the inside zone here. Damian Pierce on the field. We're, we're taking it outside. We couldn't, and we're, we're down. We do manage to get back to the line of scrimmage, though. Dalton Schultz. Get over the line. He dives in and gets the first down. That got real weird for a sec. Well, now, I will say this. CJ Stroud's presence in the pocket. Like, throwing the ball with him when he's, like, settled in the pocket feels really good. I like that a lot. But the first quarter comes to an end. We are down seven with the ball, though. Hopefully making some momentum here. We're taking a run to the outside, but we're actually going to take it left. A little more space over there. If we can cut the outside here, and we can't. And if we can just hold that block a little longer, we get the outside. We're feeling really good. A little early on the throw, but we get it to him. Third and six. CJ Stroud, I mean, a rookie quarterback's best friend is a tight end. And right now, Dalton Schultz is that for us. Oh, wait. Nico Collins could be an easy, quick target. He is. We're going to hit him. Get over the line. Nico Collins gets the first down. Just barely, but we did it. Found the open man. Devin Singletary on the field again. I don't like this. I think we look for CJ Stroud quick. And we do. Oh, my God. Wide open, but it was a throw was off by CJ Stroud a little bit. Dalton Schultz with the first down, though. That could have been so much more. See if we can get a few on the run here. There wasn't too much space, but we somehow get four out of it. I really don't know how, but we'll take it. We need some blocking here. Just go right up the middle. Damian Pierce first down. We're not breaking off any crazy runs with him, but he is getting the job done when we need him to. And we'll, we'll take that for now. It's, it's first, first game of the season. First half of the season. Plenty of time. We're going to hit Schultz again. And we make a great throw throwing out of the sack there. Roquan absolutely demolished CJ Stroud. And yet Dalton Schultz, five catches for 71 yards off to a fantastic start. 
Wow. Oh, you got to bring that in. CJ Stroud is getting lit up right now by the pressure. We're getting out of the pocket. We got to throw this away. And Stroud gets lit up again. I felt it. My controller vibrated. I felt it. You got lit up. All right. We need to make a good play here. We need some time. And we throw it over the middle. Nico Collins isn't even fucking looking. It hits him in the helmet. Are you kidding me? What what was that? I feel like I, I, I put it into a tight window there, but he should be able to catch that. He's not even looking. He didn't even know the ball was thrown. What are you doing, bro? It's really annoying. I, that that had potential. I I swear that had potential. Bring out Kami Fairbairn though. We kicked the field goal. It is good. It is 14 to 10. We got to trust our defense. Outside of one play, our defense has actually been fantastic. All right. I'm blitzing first play. Is this a good idea? Probably not, but we're going to try it. Lamar holds on to it. We missed the tackle. Oh, my God. What a play. What, oh, my God. He just shrugs off two tackles, man. I, 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 what do you do? All right. We shut down the run there. Only gets one. Gus Edwards not having a great start. Another run. We can't get to him. And he gets the first down. Gus Edwards showing the power right there. Mark Andrews. There was no, I mean, that was, that was perfect. Well, I, I don't know what you do there. That was perfect. We got to try to bend, don't break here, man. I, I, I mean, that's all you can really do in this situation is just try to bend, don't break. Move, flips the play. Gus Edwards moving to the other side. Andrews goes down. Gets six, though. Second and four. I'm feeling he's going to run here. I'm going to bring pressure. I was wrong. And who is who? Who? Charlie Kohler. How many tight ends do they have? Andrews. Lively. Now this Kohler motherfucker? Yeah, this is starting to go how I expected against the Ravens. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think Lamar, first few drives, he was cold, man. It's the beginning of the season for him, and he's getting started. We do. Robert Woods with space, and did he drop it? No, no, he caught it, but the ball came out. Uh, I'm so confused. We got it though. Okay. Ah, we just can't get that man. If we make that man miss, we have plenty of space. Oh, that's a great throw from CJ Stroud. What a play by Nico Collins. Keep the feet in third and inches. And we're going to come out in a run. Devin Singletary in the game. Oh, we got space. Devin Singletary gets plenty. Three for 24 for Singletary. He's actually had some, some good plays. We got to get outside. We just can't, man. I, got, I, I know I know it, it keeps getting stopped, right? But but I see it, and, and there's space there. There's just no space up the middle. So I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Roquan Smith is in the zone. Try to let Damian Pierce make a play here on a screen. We do have all three of our timeouts. It's it's full on two minute drill. Kind of read the screen. They read the screen. And it's a bad throw. Stroud just, what? That wasn't even close. CJ, what, you overthrew that so bad. All right, hopefully Cami Fairbairn has the leg for this. Wind's also blowing in. Oh, it's a perfect kick. I think we get it. 52 yard field goal. Kami Fairbairn. Kami Fairbairn. That's tough to say fast. I don't know why it was, but it was. I am very scared of Mark Andrews. I am keeping my eye on him. Wow. It's almost like I knew. That's crazy. Now we do get the ball at half. So if we can bend, don't break here again. I feel like that's just my motto at this point is bend, don't break. We'll see. And he's just going to get to the outside. Free first down for him. Just the, it's the check down, man. We're going to come out and cover two. I hate cover two, but I know it's useful. Now, do I know why it's useful? No, but I know it, it, it's a thing. And Lamar's on the run, makes a man miss, and finally gets tackled. Ravens call their first timeout. They are, they're moving. I, I wish our first game was against the pocket quarterback, man. I'm, I'm still learning, and... Lamar's just too much for me sometimes. 
we keep them in bounds they're gonna have to use a timeout here it's a quick one we keep them in bounds first down but they only have one more timeout we might be able to keep them to a field goal here they're not in the hurry up not really sure why down to 15 seconds then don't break here they're gonna get the field goal and they're just checking down we knock them down yep we managed to hold them to a field goal it's gonna be a little chip shot for them but at least we held him and the kick by tucker is good we're going in okay they're actually they're gonna get a little kickoff here i'm gonna move my monitor up why don't really know just felt it you know what i'm saying now we do get the ball back so really we're just gonna be receiving a kickoff again they're gonna let us try to return this though interesting choice oh tank dell with space tank dell with space why did they let me return Come on, Tank. Come on, Tank. Why would they let me return? One second left. Kick it out of bounds. Kick it over the end zone. What was that? Tank Dell. It's the first half with a return touchdown. And we are within four. Wow. That was absolutely electric. That was that was crazy. There we go. Going into the half, 24-20, and we get the ball. The faster pocket degradation just scares me so much with it when it comes to throwing it short. I think we just got to stick with throwing deep here. And in terms of our defensive focus, I mean, it's been short passes. Even though we, we tried to cover the short pass before and it wasn't working, I feel like that still needs to be the focus now. We need to come out with a big one here. They keep it in the end zone this time. We're just going to kneel it down. But Tank Dell, dude, I, I cannot believe he did what he did. I called it at the beginning of the game. I said, I feel like eventually he's going to get one. He's going to get some space. He managed to get it done. All right, coming out in a fat, uh, pass already. Roquan is still in the zone. Um, hello. <gasps> Dalton Schultz is a fucking menace. This guy is insane. Schultz again. It's Schultz again. Yo, this guy's having a career game right now. He's the only one that CJ Stroud can apparently throw to. That wasn't the greatest read, but we got three. All right, we're coming out in a zone week. Run away from Roquan. Can't make the safety miss. Damian Pierce is just having trouble making men miss. I mean, Dalton Schultz is the primary target again here. I got baited. It, Nico. No way, Nico. Right? Coach wants us to go for it, and I am on the same page. What was that pass, CJ? CJ, he was open. Oh, no, 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 dude. And Lamar throws it away. All right, we need our defense to come out hot. Lamar just threw his first incompletion. That's insane. Lamar just get absolutely railed right there. I don't know how he didn't fumble it. Five rushes for 122 yards. I mean, that, that's fucking Lamar. I don't know what to tell you. Why did he dive? I, I, I was pressing X to go for the ball. Is X not go for the ball in that situation? That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. It's a run. I read it and we get him down. Gus Edwards gets nothing. Third and 12. Let's fucking go Texans. Coming out and empty. Am I scared? Yes. Barry. And and Mark Andrews is just God. He's Jesus himself. Like I, I mean, Dalton Schultz. It's the game of the tight ends. It, it, Dalton Schultz and Mark Andrews. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. We're, we're switching over to cover one. I am guarding Mark Andrews. That was a mistake. I, I can't stop this man. I, I can't stop him. All right. I'm coming out on a full on blitz here. We're pressing, bringing the pressure. And we, hello, hello. And stop him. He gets one though. Oh, we needed a big tackle there, bro. Huge block out of whoever that was on the outside for them. That's tough. All right. I, I The goal was to not let them score 30, and they already have 31, and it's only halfway through the third quarter. I realize that. 
I will say, I am proud of myself because I am I'm sort of keeping up. I'm not, but I'm I'm sort of keeping up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got 20 here. I am fighting my ass off against this Ravens team. All right, we're coming out on the screen first play. They've been bringing pressure. Roquan being in the zone scares me a little bit. And he doesn't fall for it. They don't fall for it. They just read that thing like a book. Dude, this man Roquan is everywhere. Dude, I do not like this situation we're in at all. I'm going to hit Dalton Schultz on the check down and we somehow get fourth and inch. I'm going for this. I'm going for this. If we, if we give them the ball back, we're just conceding. No, no, coach. I know you want us to, to you know, punt, but we're not doing it. We're not hacking doing it. I see the hole. I mean, I'm going to fucking hit it and we get it. We get it. First down Texans. Devin Singletary has been kind of the guy. I, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know why he's getting so many. I didn't expect him to get so many carries, but I mean, here we are. Nico Collins open, possession catch, and it's broken up. Just go down. I'm spamming A for you to go down, and you just don't. Oh my God. Wide open. It is Nico Collins. Oh, with space. Touchdown, Nico Collins. There it is, our second pass touchdown of the game. CJ Stroud showing flashes, like we said. What a pass. He was under pressure, gets it. Nico Collins makes space. Long touchdown pass for CJ Stroud. I'm very proud of myself. I don't know if you can tell. I'm very proud. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, are we in there? Oh, I thought we were in there, bro. I gotta take a look. I gotta take a look. I gotta take a look. We can't challenge it. I just, I, I just wanna see. Damn, that was so close. All right, here we go. Only down five again. We'll take it. Like I said, man, I'm keeping up. I, mean, I can't stop them, but I'm keeping up. They're actually trying to return this. And we get him down at the 24. Oh, my God. I got to Lamar. 10 yards. Second and 20. Cashman with the big sack. That was not what I was supposed to do, but it worked out okay. We're gonna come out and cover three here. Wow, that was huge. All right, just get him down. There we go. Good tackle. Only gets seven. Third and 14. We need to lock up here. We need to lock up real bad. And Lamar's going deep downfield. And we knock it down. Fourth and 14. They are going to have to punt. He tried the arm punt there. I, 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 My instinct is spam Y. Get the pick. But no, 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 no. The smart play is to just knock it down there. Likely, they aren't even going to punt it that far. Like, that, that's essentially where it was, and I might get a few yards here. Oh, my God. Tank double space. Tank double space again. This guy is electric. Nico Collins, four receptions for 92 yards and a touchdown today. A lot of that was on that one play, but that is a real good look for us. And we get sacked. I... I thought I had a little more time. Second and 17. Nico Collins is the check down here. Roquan's there. Just got a possession catch it. it, it I think it's Roquan's X factor. Just anytime he tackles somebody, they drop the ball. We're going to come out and dagger and just hope and pray, basically. Hopefully we can get some blocking. And oh, man. Oh. Good play by the defense, man. There was just nothing open. Uh, maybe if I would have hit Tank a little earlier there, but either way, could have been worse. At least it's not a pick, right? It's going to be a fair catch at the 12. Definitely ran into him there. Um, I don't know how that's not a flag. All right, we're coming out in corner blitz here. Is that the move? I don't think so, but we're trying it. And it's a run to Gus Edwards. We wrap him up. Big tackle only gets two. That was a huge open field tackle for Jalen Petrie. All right. We're going to use the guy on Edwards. Oh, I tried to pick it, bro. Oh, my God. He dropped it. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay. 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 Third and eight here. They're coming out and gun empty. We got to be aware of Lamar. That's the problem. But Mark Andrews. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. 
Oh, dude, that's where my other guy was supposed to be. I I saw it. There was a guy on the right side of the field was that was gonna have to cover left and and fuck man. All right, they're pressing in this situation, which is interesting. It's a run and I didn't cover my man very well. Justice Hill getting a carry there. It's his first of the game. Second and two. We got a battle here. I don't like this at all. It's a it's an option play and Lamar finds space. Oh my God, dude, he just kept running. Okay, it's some type of man play. Lamar's in the zone. That's gonna be the end of the third quarter though. We're in this game, but now we got Lamar in the zone. I don't really know what to do about that. We're not gonna get our rushing goal, but our passing game has been way better than expected. I'm coming out in a blitz here. Is that smart? No, but I'm trying it. Oh no. I, I was so focused on Lamar there. It was, he actually handed it off. I mean, that's what makes this Ravens off, offense difficult. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm playing wrong. It's just, they're good. There's really nothing else I can say about it. And Edwards has space. We managed to get him down. That's a big run for Gus Edwards though. All right, Mark Andrews scary, but he hits the check down Rashad Bateman. He's going to get within five yards third on the three. We got to try to bend, bend don't break here, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. I have a feeling they're just going to punch it in. They're switching things up here. I don't like this. Why do I feel like this is Lamar all day? He hands it off. We managed to get to our man and can't tackle him, but we get him down at the one. We really needed that open field tackle there. We really needed that open field tackle. To Odo oh, in the game. I did not expect that. And Lamar's just going to get it in. I Dude, this Ravens offense is electric. Like, there are moments where I think, okay, our defense is playing well. But th their offense is electric. Mark Andrews is unstoppable. Lamar is unstoppable. Gus Edwards gets his big runs when needed. Just a great drive out of him. All right, we're just going to let this one go out. Tank Dell, though. I'm, I'm not used to tank tells not supposed to be as good at least attribute wise as he is right now like I use Jamal Agnew and Jags franchise and that that guy's electric I'm not used to this though we're just gonna hit the the check down here Nico Collins gets three like I want to try to run and get our goal here but I just don't think that's a possibility wait wait we just sent Nico Collins on a streak hit him quick Ah, they fell back into coverage. Dalton Schultz. Oh my God, he held on to it. This man, Dalton Schultz, is is him. Eight receptions for 118 yards for our tight end. We're coming out in verts. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh boy, we're under pressure. We're just gonna throw it away. I'm, I mean, I could throw it downfield there, but they just they just had the setup. I was gonna get picked, 100. percent I'm gonna come out and play action. Roquan is not over there. I kind of want to run the ball. I'm gonna run the ball. And there's just nowhere to go. We get one yard. Probably not the smartest move to run second and 10. I just, I don't know, man. I felt like I was passing too much and they were ready for it. All right, coming out and play action again. They're not gonna fall for it, but we'll see. And we can't get there. They knock it down. We have to punt here. I don't like it, but but we have to. Hopefully, it's a good one. Johnston kicks it. He's going to grab it. And Duvernay just gets lit up down at the 19. We need the defense to show something here. We really need the defense to show something. We're going to come out blitz press and hope that we can get something going here. And we get Gus Edwards down, loses four. Second and 14. That's what we're looking for right there. That's it. Now they're under a lot of more pressure. I mean, the check down is my man there, but Mark Andrews, like, if I didn't follow him, Lamar is, is hitting him and, he, and, and he's gone. You know what I mean? Ah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We're going to press again, put some pressure on. Just hope we can get to the quarterback. 
and Mar Mark Andrews is just too good. He he's too good. I mean, what are you going to do in that situation? I don't know. Clearly, I, I actually don't know. And he gets five. The clock is just running down, man. I, I don't like the situation we're in right now. They're chewing clock, too. Put pressure on Lamar. Oh, my God. He just hurtled me. Third and inches. We need a big stop here. I, I need to send everybody. I need to send as many as I possibly can, at least. Oh, that's a good block. That's a good block. Did we get him? He barely got over the line. Man! Thought I had him. Thought I had him, bro. We're gonna come out and cover three. Or audible to it, I should say. We didn't come out in it. I'm just gonna keep running the ball though. And it's a oh my god, it's a screen that he came back over the middle. Gets nothing. He gets it back to the line of scrimmage, but we're already down to four minutes left in this game. I'm gonna try to keep up with Mark Andrews here. It's Thomas. And we get him down. Only gets one. Love that. Come on. Need a stop. Need a stop here. Really bad. Oh, Andrews has space. Lamar. Got to get him down. Got to get him down. Got to get him down. Let's fucking go. We're going we're gonna to call a timeout. I don't know if that's a smart timeout or not. I'd like to stop the clock there, though. Get a little extra time. Okay. I, I don't know what they were thinking right there, but interesting. We're going to get the ball in the 50. I mean, I guess it's Justin Tucker, but... Ugh. All right, here we go. CJ Stroud. Oh, that was an awful decision. Why did I throw in the middle of two defenders? Dalton Schultz, man. He seems to be the only guy that can actually do something for me on when it comes to the pass catching. Schultz. And it was almost picked. CJ Stroud has thrown the ball 39 times, by the way. I don't know. I think this is chalk. I'm not going to lie. There we go. This is a big play. Oh, no. We're going to get caught. We got caught. Jadavion Clowney. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, <laughs> got to come out four birds. Fourth and 23. We got to try and convert. Oh, God. CJ Stroud can't get it to Dalton Schultz. Out of reach. And that is going to do it. That is going to do it. They're going to come out and run here. We can try to stop and we can call our timeouts. We do have the two minute warning on our side, but uh, this is not an ideal situation and it's over if they get a first down. All right, we get them down third and four. We're going to let, we're going to let the clock go down here. Stop, free timeout in this situation, right? When they come back out, hopefully we can get a stop here, call a timeout, and then they cannot delay any more time. We can try to get some more points on the board, but I just don't think it's possible we can come back down 12 here. It's a screen? No, it's not. Oh, my God. Oh, that was terrifying. No good, though. No good. All right, fourth and four. They're coming out with another field goal. I mean, Justin Tucker isn't going to miss this one. He, he's just not going to miss this one. And it's just right down the middle. I mean, Justin Tucker doesn't miss those. He, he doesn't. 41-26. We are going to get one more drive. We're just going to see if we can get something good here. You know what I mean? Get some positive momentum going into next week. Hank Dell is going to kneel it down in the end zone. We have two minutes all of our time. Or no, one of our timeouts. I'm looking at Baltimore for some reason. Let's just see if we can break something off here. Start out with a screen. And see what we can do. Roquan's probably going to be able to read it easy. But you never know. Can we get some blocks? Nope. Roquan just gets me. Split. We're going to go no huddle. We'll put post wheel drag. We snap the ball. Thank you. We're just going to hit Pierce. We got a blocker. We got the first down. We get out of bounds. We love that. We love that. CJ Stroud now 20 for 42. Not the best game, but he, I don't know. He's like I said, he's showing flashes. He's not doing horrible. We're going to hit our running back again. Checkdowns probably is not the smartest way to go here. But it moves the ball a little bit, I guess. Oh, my God. CJ, what? This man does not have the arm I expected there. Well, I don't know what that was. I got to remember, his. he doesn't have a cannon. He doesn't have the craziest arm you've ever seen. Roquan's still in the zone, man. 
and we hit dalton schultz again with space and can't turn the corner is that a face mask face mask on the defense dalton schultz is out here making plays bro absolutely making plays i mean what would happen if we didn't have dalton schultz who would have thought man oh i hit nico collins up the middle and that's gonna be a first down on the three oh my god what i don't want to talk about i don't want to talk about i don't that was awful i talked about it nico collins is the guy dalton schultz could also be the guy nico collins is the guy touchdown CJ Stroud with his third touchdown pass of the game. We are about to drop 33 this game. Honestly, this is way better than I expected our offense to perform. It is 41 to 33. We are going to go for the onside here and just hope. I don't know why they're telling us to kick it off. We are going for the onside kick here. And it, it, that's it. That's game. 39 seconds left. We only have one timeout. They're going to come out and kneel it. 41 33 is going to be the final i mean i feel like we should use our timeout just because that's what you know they would do right right they, they would do that i i would think but 41 33 is going to be the final against the baltimore ravens who are one of the best teams in the nfl on all bad and i am proud of how this went i mean i couldn't stop them but our offense did way better than i would have expected here come out they're just going to let the clock run out i or maybe they kneel it one more time i doubt it though Omar in and in the zone. Roquan, I couldn't keep out of the zone. But I'm very happy with how our offense performed here. Especially CJ Stroud. The passing game was much better than expected. I did throw one pick and should have thrown many, many more. We go here into the stats. CJ Stroud with an 82.9 rating. 24 for 48. He threw 50% completion percentage. 312 yards. You know, three tuddies. Only had one pick. We'll allow that. Rushing the ball. We, we couldn't get a run game. Damian Pierce was fucking terrible. Singletary had some, something to him. Actually had something to him. Dalton Schultz with nine receptions for 142 yards. Nico Collins, seven for 115. That was about our entire pass game, but that was a nutty game for some of them. We did also did, uh, get a bunch of tackles for losses. And Will Anderson Jr. gets his first sack. Look at that. Also, a Blake Cashman getting a sack as well. Overall, though, it wasn't great. We didn't get the win. We gave up 41, but it could have been a lot worse. In fact, I, I definitely think there's some positives to take from this game. Get our game plan goal of two pass touchdowns. Get Stroud two pass touchdowns. We'll take that. We get uh, Tavier Thomas here. We're just going to go with slot. Should help him out a lot. Bars, 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 bars. That was a bar. Uh, plus two man, plus two play rec. We will take that form. We have 60 staff points. That should help out a lot. Key to victory. Talk with one of your leaders about the game. I mean, they were just a way better team than us. Let's be real. Not sure how we didn't get it done because they were way fucking better than us. Felt like we had a good week of practice, but and it's clear we need to be better and do more to get the W. Damian Pierce, you were fucking terrible, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. It's only one game. We'll get things figured out and get in the win column soon enough. I mean, we're, we were, we're our goal was four wins this season. We, we're supposed to lose to a team like the Ravens. I'm fine with that as long as we get better and show like some improvements. And for our first game, that was way better than I thought. We're going to speak about our rookie's performance here. It has been a little bittersweet that CJ Stroud put points on the board and you weren't able to get the win. Yes. Uh, of course. Bittersweet is a good word to describe it. It's great to see the progress he's been making carry over into games that matter, but it'll be even better had we won the game. Well, no shit. Thank you. What an answer. CJ Stroud has earned 2,500 XP. But honestly, we, we love to see that. We absolutely love to see that. But that is going to do it. We are playing the Colts in week two. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.